Leaders, um, people at the top of their field, scientists, they have to figure out new things. They have to innovate, they have to create, and that's what Great Heart students are doing in the classroom. You could have three different geometric proofs. The one that's the best is the one that has a certain gracefulness to it, a certain beauty involved in it. Given a particular time, right here this run. The students are being taught to be creative through imitation of great works. They study those great works. They learn the technical skills of how to write really well, how to develop a sentence. So, and then they read the literature to see how you put the sentences together in a beautiful way. And then they're able to create themselves. Uh, art, the same thing. They learn how to draw uh, something from a Van Gogh. And then they, they learn how to sketch it. What, how to shade it, and then they can create their own works of art because they've learned how to do that in a creative way in a classroom. I know they've practiced before in art class, um, the skills of observation, discussion they've learned in human letters, but to do that in Spanish about a Spanish work of art, it, it's just really cool. It's really important that we're not specializing in one thing or another, but that a student who really loves physics can also be an outstanding basketball player or a student who loves poetry or drama can be a great football player. A student who loves literature can also love playing volleyball. Uh, I, I think it's much more than just hitting the books or going to each class and when the bell rings, it's over with. No, in this case, you know, they're getting ready for a recital. Um, you know, maybe one month and the next month they're getting ready for a huge performance uh, that you would normally see at, at a college level or a performing theater level in the community. And in addition to that, they're putting on the cleats and they're playing sports. There's a, an ancient Roman thinker, Plutarch, who says that a mind is not a, a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled.